Hello everyone! My name is Kelia and I work at the Ashburn Library as the teen librarian. Today we are going to be talking about recycling, a beginner's guide to recycling. So I'm going to hold up a few items and I want you to tell me if they are recyclable or not. Ready? Plastic bag. Can you recycle this? Next we have, oh, pizza box. Can you recycle this? Uh, then we have a, a notebook. Can you recycle this? And finally, soap dispenser. Can you recycle this? Recycling is easy, so you should be able to recycle all of that, right? Well, watch to the end of the video and see if all four of these items you can recycle. About 25% of what Americans recycle can't actually be recycled. Why? Well, because when you recycle something, you are breaking it down to its most basic parts. So if something has food remnants, if it has grease on it, if it has too much liquid or if it's been contaminated in some way, it cannot be broken down to its most basic form. So something like a pizza box, as you can see, there's a bunch of grease on here. There's a bunch of grease in here. This cannot be recycled because the cardboard is no longer able to be broken down to its most basic form. And thus, this actually goes in the trash. Loudoun County actually has a very specific guidelines about what you can and can't recycle. Now, just a caveat, if you live in a community or you have an HOA or something, your conditions might be different and you wanna call your provider to see what you can and can't recycle. But for most of us in Loudoun County, I got a long list here, this is what <laughs> they accept. Cardboard boxes, paper, plastic bottles, plastic jugs, plastic jars, and metal cans are collected, mixed together in the recycling container. Glass bottles and jars are now being collected separately at all of the county recycling centers, excluding Lovettsville and Luckett's, where glass bottles and jars are still collected, co-mingled with other recyclables. All bottles, cans, jugs, and jars should be empty and lightly rinsed out. Cardboard boxes should be completely emptied and flattened, broken down. Deposit recyclables loosely into the recycling collection container. If you transport your recycles, recyclables in a plastic or paper bag, dump the recyclables into the collection container and take your plastic bags with you. The paper can go into the recycling container. No plastic bags, period. So why no plastic bags? Excuse my pizza logo. It's very simple. Plastic bags are made out of such a thin plastic that they actually disrupt the machinery that works in the recycling center. So plastic bags get mixed in with the machinery. They cause problems. They cannot be recycled. So Loudoun County has come up with a solution for you for recycling your bags. If you bring them to any of the following grocery stores, mm, Farm Fresh, Food City, Food Lion, or Bloom, Giant, Harris Teeter, Martin's, Safeway, and Target, they will recycle your bags for you. Just bring a huge bag full of bags into there, and usually they've got like little trash can looking things where you can just stuff your plastic bags into and walk away. If you can't find it, they'll usually accept them at customer service, and then you've recycled your plastic bags. Loudoun County does not accept any styrofoam no styrofoam. So remove all styrofoam, plastic wrap, bubble wrap, plastic strapping, or any plastic packaging from cardboard boxes prior to recycling and discard them in your regular household trash. And then just as a little side note, any items that you put to the side of the dump site that you want to donate for reuse, such as furniture, exercise equipment, or toys, or anything like that. If it's not, if I haven't listed it so far, then technically it's not part of the accepted materials and it 
is considered illegal dumping. So make sure you don't do that. So what about plastics? If you normally recycle, you know that most items have a triangle on the bottom with a number inside. You probably can't see it, but there's a little triangle right here that sets a one. Now, the peop most people who recycle know that ones and twos are generally accepted everywhere, but not in Loudoun County. <laughs> if your recycling plastic isn't a plastic bottle, a plastic jug, or a plastic jar, they do not want it. <laughs> so make sure that when you're recycling, you recycle plastics the right way. I always thought that this would be accepted. This is something that my blueberries and my strawberries come in, but not in Loudoun County. Not all plastics are made the same. Even if they have the little triangle with the one or the triangle with the two, they recycle differently. So to make it easier, Loudoun County has decided on the three jugs, jars, and bottles. <laughs> but here's a quick list of everything else that can be recycled in Loudoun County. It's kind of long, so pay attention. Bottles, cans, jugs, and jars, aluminum cans, steel cans, plastic bottles, plastic jugs, those can both have the lid on, and plastic jars, all of those can have the lid on. Glass bottles and jars, they don't want the lid. No glass lids. Paper cardboard, flatten, catalogs, cereal boxes, snack box, boxes, tissue boxes, boxes, as long as they're broken down, greeting cards, hardcover books, you remove the and you discard the cover and then you recycle the paper, junk mail, envelopes, magazines, maps, newspaper, office paper, paper books, phone books, site plans, but no shredded paper. <laughs> so shredded paper? Pretty much, if anything is smaller than the size of like a credit card, it's the same thing with plastic bags. Little tiny small scraps of paper get stuck in places and they get all over other items and materials. They can't be separated. So when you recycle things that are that small, you actually might like contaminate everything you're recycling. So all of your stuff might have to be thrown away as trash. So when you're recycling paper, just be careful about the size of the paper. If it's smaller than a credit card, just toss it in the garbage. Okay, so now that we've talked about what you can recycle in Loudoun County, I'm gonna hold up an item, and this time I'm gonna tell you if you can recycle it or not, and I'm gonna add a bunch of more new items. So, can you recycle a milk cart jug? Can you recycle a milk jug? Yes, and this one I have already cleaned out. It is nice and milk free, so this one is ready to go to the recycling bin. Here's that plastic bag. Can we recycle this? Not through Loudoun County, but through any participating grocery store, you can recycle. Here's this. This is a type of plastic. Can we recycle? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about this? This is a tissue box. Is this something that we can recycle? Yes, it has to be broken down. I'm not gonna do that because I'll break a nail, but I will before I put it in the recycling bin. How about this? Can this be recycled? And I don't know if you can see, but it's got some stuff in there. It can't be recycled. I have to wash this out before I send it to the recycling bin and I will do that. Mac and cheese. <laughs> Can you recycle this? Same thing as the tissue box. Break it down, you're ready to go. This, this one is deceiving, but it's technically classified as a jug or a jar. So you can recycle this. This is recyclable. <laughs> I made sure. What about this? <laughs> can you recycle this water bottle? Yes, please, if you recycle anything, please recycle water bottles. These are the easy thing to recycle. You never have to wash them out. They're always clean. Always recycle your water bottles. All right, and I'm, what about this guy? Yeah, the answer is no, you already know that. And then finally, the notebook from the beginning. Can we recycle this? We just talked about it. 
you want to rip the spine out and then you can recycle the paper and these two, the front and the back would be considered cardboard. So you're good to go. Good job, everyone. <laughs> I hope you got all of those right. Now, the next thing I'm going to read is specifically from the Loudoun County's website and it's talking about what you cannot recycle. This is a long list, so just keep your eyes and ears open. All right, so if it is not a bottle, can, jug, jar, paper, or cardboard, then it is not accepted at the recycling center, no exceptions. If in doubt, leave it out. Please don't assume something is accepted at the recycling center just because it has a plas it is plastic, metal, glass, paper, or has the recycling square on the bottom. If the, the following list is unacceptable items, and it may also help for further classification. This list is long, it's like two pages. All right, here I go. Air filter, air filters, animal feed bags, antifreeze bottles, batteries, beverage glasses, buckets, ceramics, chemicals, clothes, shoes, construction materials, compressed gas cylinders, crates, electronics, fireworks, flower pots, food or food waste, Gla grass clippings, hazardous materials, or containers, household appliances, leaves, light bulbs, mirrors, motor oil bottles, nails, needles, netting, paint cans, pallets, paper plates, cups, napkins, towels, paper cartons, milk cartons, juice cartons, etc., pet food bags, pesticide or herbicide bottles, plastic bags, plastic containers other than in the shape of bottle, jug, or jar, uh, plate glass, plexiglass, porcelain, pottery, rope, scrap metal, screws, bolts, nails, etc. shredded paper, I still have a whole third column, um, screens, spiral bound notebooks, which I just showed you, you have to remove the spine and throw that away and then you can recycle the front and back and the center. String, styrofoam, syringes, medication, applicators, needles, etc. Three ring binders, plastic binders, toys, trash, tree limbs, twine, wire, wire, <laughs> windows, yard waste. <sighs> and that was it. <laughs> that was so long. Hopefully you guys stayed in there with me. I messed up a few times, but I got through it. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully you weren't confused by any of this. But if you do have questions, you are definitely encouraged to call the Loudoun County Recycling Program at 703-771-5500. And then you press three when you get to the recording. Or like I said at the beginning, you might live in a community where there's separate regulations and you should call your provider to see what you can and can't recycle. I really hope that this has helped everybody Take the leap into understanding recycling and maybe beginning recycling of your own. I know that I recycle. It's a bit of a hassle, but it makes me feel better about the bottles and the waste that I create. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you had a great time. I'll see you guys all at the library. Bye.